Meg's illusion actually the worst nightmare? Social users call her only queen in US political pitch. Social media users have hailed Meghan Markle the only queen as the Duchess spoke on how women can achieve economic and professional parity at a New York Times conference. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex joined a New York Times dealbook online summit to discuss top-down solutions to create opportunities for others, in particular, women. Meghan, 40, was one of two groundbreaking figures to speak at the event, called Minding the Gap. Joined by businesswoman Melody Hobson, President and co-CEO of Ariel Investments and Chairwoman of Starbucks Corporation, the two had a conversation about how their shared experiences influenced their thinking. Fans praised Meghan, with one Twitter user, saying, Wow, she's exceptional. Another one, wrote, A true hard-working queen. And a third one, added, I just adore her. The Duchess of Sussex is the only queen. Meghan spoke about her business endeavors with Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex and explained a rule they always follow, treat people the way they want to be treated. We're just doing it the same way we would want if we were employees at it. I used to work on a TV series for seven years. That is a crew of over 200 people, right? So, the way that you are when you are in a huge environment is no different than you are when you're with this small company. Journalist Stephanie Gorillas, sharing a clip of the event, said, they really expected Meghan Markle to mumble and cut ribbons for the rest of her life. She is a natural-born boss and is proving it once more. Meghan Markle's conviction and desire to be a change agent is still there. She's more in tune than some politicians. Calling the Duchess a skilled orator, Ms. Gorillas added, she knows how to connect her speech and vision. Great points of views exchanged and Meghan made it clear that she's in a good place in her life. Host Andrew Ross Sorkin touched upon Meghan's open letter to Speaker of the House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi and Senate leader Chuck Schumer demanding American families are paid a proper wage when on parental leave. The Duchess said, I think this is one of those issues that is not red or blue. We can all agree that people need support certainly when they've just had a child. Describing paid leave as a humanitarian issue, she continued, We can all agree that people need support especially when they've had a child. We have a five-month-old baby so it is a sensitive one for us. We had the luxury of having had that time, not just for moms but also for fathers. In the 1030-word letter, Meghan wrote, I'm not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. I am, like many, an engaged citizen and a parent stressing that millions of women have dropped out of the workforce to provide for their children since the beginning of the pandemic, the Duchess called for a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed, accessible and encouraged without stigma or penalty. She used the New York Times event as a platform to keep on emphasizing her message, and the effort seems to have reached the audience. And in a wide-ranging discussion, she spoke of cutting out coupons as a child, working as a waitress, and lobbying Republican senators for parental leave. Meghan, who wore a remembrance poppy on an all-black outfit, was quizzed as part of the New York Times Deal Book Summit. She told interviewer Andrew Ross Sorkin her mental health is in a far better place now that she and Harry have stepped back from their work as senior royals. Mr. Sorkin interrupted the chat to ask, are you feeling just better about everything? Meghan quickly laughed, before Mr. Sorkin added, no, I'm serious. The royal replied, yes as Mr. Sorkin said, there was a moment when a lot of the world was asking the question. Yes, I'm feeling much better about everything, thank you, Meghan replied.